Hello everybody, I am so sorry that I have missed telling stories to you guys. It's been a long couple of weeks since I haven't read any, but today I got this really cool story book. It's called Santa is Coming to Wisconsin. Is that where we all live? I think this is going to be a really cool story. I hope you guys like it too. So let's get started, shall we? So much fun it's been so long well boom Santa have all the children from Wisconsin been good this year have you been good this year you have me too I can't wait for Santa to come well uh, mostly answered the little old elf as he bustled across the busy workshop to Santa's desk Santa peered down at the elf from behind the tall, teetering piles of letters that the children of Wisconsin had sent him. Mostly? asked Santa, looking over the top of his glasses. Yes, but they've all been especially good in the last few days, said the elf. Jolly good, chuckled Santa. Then we'd better get to their presents loaded up. Even though the sack of presents was really really big and the elves were really really small they seem to have no trouble loading it onto santa's sleigh though how they managed to fit such a big sack onto one little sleigh even though they didn't know but somehow they did splendid boomed santa we're ready to go er not quite santa said the little old elf one of our reindeer is missing Missing? Which reindeer is missing? asked Santa. The youngest one, Santa, said the elf. It's his first flight tonight. I've called him and called him, but... Just then, a young reindeer strolled up, munching on a large carrot. Where have you been? asked Santa. The youngest reindeer was crunching so loudly that it was no wonder he hadn't heard the little old elf calling. Oh, well, never mind, said Santa, giving the reindeer a little wink. He took out his Santa nav and tapped in the coordinates for Wisconsin. This will guide us to Wisconsin in no time. Crunch, crunch, crunch. With a flick of the reins and a jerk of the harness, off they went racing through the sky. Ho, 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 left Santa. We'll soon have these presents delivered to the Badger State. Santa's sleigh flew through the starry night heading south across the Arctic Ocean. On they flew in the crisp, wintry air, crossing over Canada in the wink of an eye. The sleigh was flying above Minnesota and on to Wisconsin. The youngest reindeer was very excited. He had never been away from the North Pole before. They had just crossed Lake Superior when suddenly they ran into a blizzard. Snowflakes whirled around the sleigh. They couldn't see a thing. The youngest reindeer was getting a bit worried, but Santa didn't seem concerned. In two miles, said the Santa Nav in a bossy lady's voice, keep left at the next star. But ma'am, Santa blustered, I can't see any stars in this snow. Soon they were hopelessly lost. Uh-oh. Then through the howling blizzard, the youngest reindeer heard a faint ringing sound. Ding dong. He looked over at the old reindeer with the red nose, but he had his head down. Ding dong, ding dong. There was that sound again, like church bells ringing. The youngest reindeer turned around to look at Santa, but Santa wasn't listening. He seemed to be arguing with a little box with buttons on it. With a flick of the harness and a jerk of the reins, the youngest reindeer gave a sharp tug, and he headed off toward the sound of the bells, pulling Santa and his sleigh behind him. Whoa, cried Santa, pulling his hat straight. What's going on? Then, to his surprise, he heard the ringing sound. Well done, young reindeer, he shouted cheerfully. It must be the bells of the cathedral at St. John, the evangelist. Don't worry, children, Santa is coming. The sleigh hit something as it plummeted through the snow clouds. You have arrived, said the Santa nav unhelpfully. Finally, when the snow had died down and the clouds parted, Santa discovered exactly where they were, stuck, right at the very top of Milwaukee City Hall. Everybody, pull! 
The reindeer pulled with all their might until at last, with a screeching noise, the sleigh scraped clear of the tower and Santa steered them safely over East Town, above Yankee Hill, past the North Point Water Tower and down into Lake Shore State Park. Luckily, there was no real damage done, but the packages had all been jumbled up. Santa quickly sorted the presents into order again. All right, said Santa. Thanks to this young reindeer, I know where we are now. Don't worry, children. Santa is coming. Santa drove his sleigh expertly from rooftop to rooftop all over Wisconsin, popping in and out of chimneys as fast as he could go. There were big chimneys in Madison and small chimneys in Appleton. He squeezed down thin chimneys in Racine and plummeted down chimneys in Oshkosh. The youngest reindeer was amazed how quickly they went. Santa never seemed to get tired at all, and it looked like the children of Wisconsin were going to be very lucky this year. But the youngest reindeer was starting to feel a bit weary and quite hungry, too. In house after house, Santa delved inside his stack for packages of every shape and size. He piled them under the Christmas trees and carefully filled up the stockings with surprises. In house after house, the good children of Wisconsin had left out a plate of cookies and a small glass of milk and a big crunchy carrot. Santa took a little bit out of each cookie, a tiny sip of milk, wiped his beard, and popped the carrots into his sack. From Kenosha to Green Bay, from Eau Claire to Wapaka, from La Crosse to the Dells, and all the places in between, Santa and his sleigh visited every house in Wisconsin. Santa delivered presents to Andrew, Allison, Anna, Arabelle, Archie, Ashley, and the list went on and on. Zach, Zara, Zeb, Zoe, Zibble. Finally, Santa had delivered the last present on his long Wisconsin list. Great moons and stars, sighed Santa. It's past midnight and my sack seems as heavy as ever. I hope I haven't forgotten anyone. Santa opened his sack to check, but it was full of juicy, crunchy carrots. Santa divided the carrots among the reindeer. Well done, he said, patting the youngest reindeer gently on the nose. But the youngest reindeer didn't hear him. He was too busy munching. Then it was time to set off for home. Santa reset his Santa nav for the North Pole, and soon they were speeding above Madison, past the Wisconsin State Capitol, and past Lake Monona, through the crisp, starry night. Ho, 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 laughed Santa. Merry Christmas, Wisconsin. That was such a cool story. I really liked that one. Did you guys really like that one? I'm so glad you guys could join me again. It was so fun telling this story with you guys, and I can't wait to see you again tomorrow. We only have, let's see, 11 days left until Christmas. That's 11 more stories, and on Christmas Eve, I'm going to do a live version of The Grinch. So I hope you guys can all be there for me, or with me, I should say. So have a wonderful day, guys. Bye.